The Stuka dive bomber wasn't just a weapon, it was an instrument of terror. What made these aircraft truly horrific were two propeller-driven sirens attached to their wings, producing an otherworldly screaming sound as they descended for the kill. These sirens, known as Jericho trumpets, were 2.3-foot diameter horns mounted either on the wing's leading edge or the main landing gear. As the Stuka dove towards its target, the sound would build into a terrifying banshee wail that shattered the morale of those below. Like the battle cries of ancient armies or the thundering hooves of Mongol cavalry that sent enemies fleeing before battle even began, the Jericho trumpet was designed to weaponize fear itself. However, this psychological weapon came with a deadly flaw. The sirens created drag that reduced the aircraft's speed by 15 miles per hour, a critical weakness when faced with anti-aircraft guns or enemy fighters. The Stuka was already vulnerable due to its slow speed and poor defenses, and the sirens only made this worse. As the war progressed, the screaming dive bomber's effect diminished. Rather than inducing panic, the distinctive sound became a warning signal that gave soldiers time to take cover. Later versions of the Stuka were built without the Jericho trumpets, though bombs were still fitted with whistling devices for psychological effect. The sound became so iconic that it was frequently misused in movies, often added to scenes featuring any World War II aircraft. While the Stuka's reign of terror was relatively short-lived, the haunting wail of its Jericho trumpets remains one of the most chilling sounds of World War II.